Do you get pain in your thumb, at the base of your thumb, whenever you text and use your phone for a long period of time? Well, you may have texter's thumb, also known as D. Corvain's tenosynovitis, but you don't have to know that name. So there's a couple different ways to tell if you have this. So the first thing is if you bring your thumb up like this, and you see this little triangle right here? This is called your anatomical snuff box. So these are tendons, and the area that is commonly hurt is right on top. So if you find that top part of the triangle, and if you press on it, it's gonna be tender. But also another way you can tell if you have this is if you bring your thumb and put it inside your hand, wrap your fingers over your thumb and then bend your wrist down and you get pain right on top or it reproduces your pain. This is also a positive finding that you may have Texter's thumb. So why this pain happens is commonly due to repetitive use of your thumb. So whenever we text, we have this twisted torsional force going through our thumb and our joints and our tendons do not like that. So doing that for a long period of time again and again, texting, swiping, scrolling, it doesn't feel good on your tendons, on that joint. It also is because our thumb is constantly in this flex position and not extending back out. So things that you can do right away Way is simply switching up your hand positioning as you're using your phone. You can use your four fingers. I would even limit your phone use to 20 minutes at a time, set a timer. You know, use your phone for a little while, but take breaks throughout the day. So let's go into the exercises to help decrease this thumb pain. The first thing you wanna do is just get the thumb moving, get the tendons moving, increasing blood flow to the area. So let's start with some thumb lifts. What you're gonna do is put your hand flat and then just bring your thumb up. So we're just getting that thumb moving in a pain-free motion. Anything that we do today, if it causes an increase in pain, you wanna back off a little bit or reduce the amount of load. So going from there, we're gonna go into some finger taps. Again, just getting the thumb moving. We're gonna be going to every finger like that, making the okay sign. Again, just getting the tendons moving. They run from your thumb all the way up to your forearm, so just moving them like that. Okay, and then we'll go into a stretch for the thumb for those tendons you're going to bring your thumb over your pinky and hold like that. So this stretches the tendons of your thumb, holding for 30 seconds. And whenever you do these stretches, I would do two rounds of the 30 second holds. Going from there, we also wanna stretch the wrist muscles, so the extensors and the flexors, because they run through this wrist joint as well. So the first one is gonna be the wrist flexor stretch. You're going to straighten your arm in front of you and apply pressure with the opposite hand. You don't want this to reproduce your pain, so if this is hurting, don't press as hard. So sometimes with stretches left, left, less is more. So you're gonna hold, you're gonna feel a light stretch through the top of your arm, hold for 30 seconds, and you're gonna perform this twice. And then you're gonna rotate your hand around, again, applying pressure to your fingers with the opposite hand. You're gonna feel that pull through here, and you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, repeating twice. Going from there, we also want to strengthen the surrounding muscles as well as the thumb muscles. So you're gonna go ahead and grab bum, 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 a can of vegetables. These are roughly one pound. So we're gonna do three different directions. The first one is going up, going into extension. Again, we wanna strengthen the muscles of the wrist as well as the thumb. And you're gonna wanna do 10 reps. So as you get better at this, you can increase your reps. You can do two rounds of 10 reps instead of 10. If this is too much, you can take away the weight. Or if you wanna make it harder, you can grab you can grab a two pound weight. From there, you're gonna flip your hand over and you're gonna do wrist flexion with your can of corn or peas, whatever you like. You're gonna do 10 reps. Again, you can take the can away and move or you can increase the weight with two pounds. And then finally, we're gonna do radial deviation. You're gonna go up. So palm is gonna be facing forward or out. And you're gonna go up with the thumb wrapped around as well as on top. And this gets more of that thumb muscle strength. Again, I would do 10 reps. You can always do more or you can do less. Next, you're gonna grab a rubber band and we're gonna do finger springing. So wrap that rubber band around your fingers and you're gonna spread away, like you're still making an O with your fingers, like that. You kind of have like a little puppet hand. So you're gonna do 10 reps like that, but also you're gonna do 10 reps trying to separate your fingers apart, like that. So one is going straight out, and one is going more like an O, like a claw hand. 
And you're gonna do 10 reps like that. So again, we're strengthening all the muscles of the wrist, the forearm, and the thumb. From there, we're gonna do a little bit of gripping. So grab a ball, you can grab a tennis ball, a lacrosse ball, you can grab some Play-Doh. Anything that you can wrap your fingers around and squeeze, holding for a couple seconds every time. Squeeze, like that. And again, I would do 10 reps. The harder the ball, the more force is gonna be pushed back into your fingers. So if you want something a little easier, grab a little Play-Doh, make it a little harder, grab a tennis ball, make it a little harder, grab a lacrosse ball and it just works that grip strength. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video.